Can you guys believe this that you can actually feel and use all the buttons and knobs on your physical accessories by bearing your VR headset like even the smallest buttons I can easily use or I can use my joystick, my steering wheel, I can even touch this kind of cook and drink it if I wanted to or I can use my mouse. We've been waiting for this for such a long time and finally it's here and this is not mixed reality, it's not a camera based solution. Hey everyone, I'm Peter from the Yaw VR team and this is Infuse VR. Hey, this is Infuse VR. Before I show you what I see in the headsets when I touch an accessory, let's see how to start Infuse VR. If you get the Steam approval, then Infuse VR will be available on Steam from where you can launch it with a single click. Infuse VR will automatically launch Steam VR, and there you go, the software is up and running. Let's see what we have here. Under the connections tab, you can switch between Wi Fi and USB connection, and with the help of the install button, you can install the client software to your headset or update the existing software. Next menu is the USB controllers, you can check what USB accessories are connected, and with the input viewer, you can check all the active inputs. Next is the 3D models library, where you can select all your 3D models and you can also allocate the certain USB inputs to them. Now this is just a basic small selection for demonstration purposes, but obviously we will have more, around 30 to 40 3D models for the release of this software. Next menu is motion compensation, which is primarily made for the Yaw VR motion simulator, but later on we will make it compatible with other motion simulators as well. Now this is the ALVR menu, you have a lot of lot of different menus and options under this, but I won't dive into the technical details for this menu. Okay, we finished here, let's jump into VR, take the headset on and here we go. After you have started the application on the PC, you do the same on your headset. Go into the app library, and now it's under unknown sources for us, and you start Infuse VR. Now it's searching for streamer. If you haven't already done so, then you should click trust next to the client entry. Here you go, you're in Infuse VR now. now. As you can see, it's on the one hand a streaming software. So similarly to virtual desktop and, and Quest Link, you're streaming the PC to your headset. This can be done via wireless connection or also via cable. Then you just connect the headset to the PC and it is just a click away to switch between the Wi-Fi and the cable connection. Although similar to other streaming services, this is by far the most adjustable one. It builds on ALVR and in the ALVR you have a lot of, lot of technical aspects that you can customize and adjust. I won't go deep into that because usually like for the average users, you just can keep it as it is, but then you have a lot of options to adjust it, like a lot of technical options. And on the other hand, it can visualize your hands and physical accessories. Now, the first thing you see is your hand. Whatever software you open up, whatever game you're playing, it will stay in front of you and you can move it, you can interact with it. But what's super cool about this software is that you can also have the physical accessories in VR, which you couldn't do before. So you basically just grab VR blindness, throw it out of the window and introduce the physical accessories in VR. Let's see the details. On the right hand side, you can see the Infuse logo. And if you click on that, you will see the menu in front of you. Under the devices tab, you can see the list of devices that you have currently. Now, this will definitely be a lot more. This is uh, gonna be like 30 to 40. This is just for demonstration purposes. And later, of course, you will be able to add your own device as well, in addition to this custom list. Now for demonstration purposes, I will just choose the Vartok Throttle and you can see that it appeared, it appeared in front of me, but obviously not in the correct position because that would be somewhere here. And I can feel that it's also rotated. So first I click on this gear icon and rotate it to a correct position that I feel is correct. So probably it's about that. Now, if I pinch my fingers, then I can move it to the position where it's really at. And yeah, 
This feels okay. At first I can check with the buttons and yes, this is the correct position. Now that the position is correct, you can see that on the right hand side you have another menu. Here you can first of all turn off translate so that you cannot move the accessory anymore while you're adjusting the settings. You can either adjust these features for global, like all of the accessories you have visible in front of you, or local, which means only this particular accessory. I'll keep it as local for now. With opacity, you can adjust how much you can see from the device. And of course, if it's zero, then it's completely non-visible. If it's 100, then you can see it perfectly fine. But you cannot see through it. If you want to see through it, then you click the X-ray button and then it's sort of transparent, as you can see. Now with the color, you can adjust it to have a custom color, for example, purple in this case. And if you put the color on zero, then it will be the realistic color of the accessory. And with this last button, the rotate, you can turn that, that panel off, which you used for calibration. Now if I click rotate, then this left panel disappears. If I click on, then it's again appearing and you can again adjust. If you, if you turn on translate and rotate, then you can again adjust the certain rotation parameters of the device. I'm turning these off so that I can see my device. And then let me add the further devices as well. So let me add the Vortex joystick as well. Here you can see the joystick, it's in a very odd position, but let us put it into the correct position, which should be somewhere here. And a little bit of rotation is also necessary for this case. Uh, sort of like, yeah, something like this, but it's not moving can see that it's not moving in this case you should open the infuse VR app go to the 3d models choose your particular peripheral and then you can allocate uh, which USB slot or which USB input to allocate to this particular model usually it's automatically allocated but in this case we'll just set it up manually now you can feel that it's moving and yeah some further positioning is needed I guess so I'm re recalibrating the device and now it is in a correct position I think. Now after this is in the correct position you just simply turn the gear icon off and then you see that it's working fine. Now let me add all the other accessories. Now I added the mouse, but now you can see that you cannot really access the rotation panel, but you should be able to. In this case, you can just click here, move this panel out of the way, and then you go. So for example, mouse is in this position, then I should adjust it a little bit to, yeah, for example here, but with the mouse it's easy because you can just put the physical accessory to the position where it is. Now done with the mouse, let's continue with the other accessories. Now in the case of the keyboard, you can see that the size does not exactly match the real size. In this case, you can use the slider called size and resize the keyboard. Now this is, this seems to be realistic. A little bit more rotation is needed and then, then we're good to go. But again, with this, oh, 
this is perfect but these accessories you can also like uh, put the accessory in the position where you see it yeah these are yeah this is correct I think now if you're done with all this then you can go back to the menu I will slide it back into position and then you can choose profiles to save this profile this position so if you click here you will find the virtual keyboard and then I'll just write test and then click the save icon and now you can see that this is saved and you have this profile here we have saved the positions relative to the center but you can also add a reference point and save a reference point based on the controllers position which you can find here and you can use for example this 3d printed circle holder put the controller on the 3d printed accessory so by the way the 3d print file will be available for free for this accessory so you can print it at home as well and now that the controller is in the position you can click the save controller reference point and next time when you open this profile up and the physical position of the controller is at the same position you click calibration and then all the accessories will be in the same position relative to the reference point that you have saved so now you have all the accessories in front of you and this will not disappear when you open your game up so you will have the same setup in front of you and you can interact with it and play the game with the steering wheel for example or the joystick and the throttle set and this brings you to a whole new and very smooth experience because you don't need to take your VR headset off at all by playing in VR you can even have a drink or you can touch the mouse and keyboard and navigate through your PC while playing in VR let's see it in practice on the left controller you push the menu button and then you will see the desktop in front of you now I see the desktop and I can also grab the mouse and the keyboard because I can see them finally we can start X-Plane 11 for example launch in Steam VR mode play okay I'm really excited about this let's see now with the help of the controller you can start a new flight okay now I'm in the cockpit but obviously it's not so comfortable to have this on the side so I will just move a little bit to the edge and then I think I'll just recalibrate my view Okay, this is not too bad, not too bad, okay. Okay, and this is quite easily manageable. Of course, this is not the accessories of the Cessna, but you can, you can see my point. In a nutshell, this is Infuse VR. This is what we've been working on for the past year. Now, more features are coming, like cockpit calibration, where you can calibrate the custom position of your accessories or your physical cockpit to the virtual cockpit that you see in the game. Or you will also have a virtual keyboard and mouse, so you can get rid of the physical keyboard and mouse while spending your time in VR. The only bad news is that the software is not available yet. We're still waiting for Steam to approve it. But once it gets approved, we'll get it out as soon as possible. The basic features of Infuse VR will be available for free, 
that is uh, motion compensation, streaming, hand visualization, and displaying on one single piece of accessory. This will all be for free. To access the premium features, we'll only have to pay $50. These premium features will include unlimited accessory visualizations, the use of custom-made accessories, cockpit calibration, and the virtual keyboard and mouse. We truly hope that you love the concept of Infuse VR. Please do subscribe to our channel here and also subscribe to our newsletter at infusevr.com. Of course, we welcome any comment, idea, feedback whatsoever about the software, either in the comment section below or via email to our website. We hope that really soon we'll be back with more Infuse VR videos. So see you soon.